Welcome to Artful at Home. My name is Sarah and I work for De Cordova Sculpture Park and Museum, part of the trustees. Artful at Home is an opportunity for you to listen to a story and find some inspiration for thinking creatively about ordinary objects that you already have around your house. Today, our inspiration is a story called Hector the Collector. It all began with an acorn. It was smooth and brown with a knot, rough knobby cap and Hector found it in a crack on the sidewalk on the way to school. At recess, he found two more. One was shiny and green. The other was short and chubby, like an old man with his hat pulled over his eyes. On the way home, he picked up some more. Two were as green as apples. Two were brown and grainy like wood. One was golden and smooth like a polished stone. Some were round, some were long, some were stubby. They all had rough, knobbly caps. They all were different. They all were the same. They all were beautiful. Hector put them in his pockets. And when his pockets were full, he put them in his desk at school. One day after lunch, his teacher checked everyone's desk to see if they were all tidy. Everyone had pencils and notebooks. Hector's was the only desk full of acorns. Everyone laughed. Where are your pencils? asked Alex. Where are your pens? asked Evan. What are you doing with all those acorns? asked Andre. Maybe he's a squirrel, shouted Maddie. Hector was embarrassed. But their teacher said, Hector isn't a squirrel. He's a collector. I bet he has a good reason for choosing each of these. Well, Hector said slowly, and began to show them one by one. This one is gold, and this one is green. His classmates all moved closer to see. These ones are short and fat, everyone giggled. And this one is tall and skinny, everyone looked. They're all different, and they're all the same, and they're all beautiful. Everyone was quiet. That, said the teacher, is what makes a great collection. I bet some of you have collections too. Slowly, Alex raised her hand and she collected pennies in a jar. And Evan collected stuffed animals. Andre collected fortune cookie fortunes. And Maddie collected smoothed out glass from the beach. It's called sea glass. Jesse's father collected baseball cards, and Derek's grandpa collected stamps. There are lots of ways to collect things. You could collect old scraps of fabric in a quilt, or photographs in an album, or songs in your head. Some collections took up a whole building, like the Museum of Natural History, where they collect butterflies and bones or the public library where they collect books. Or the Metropolitan Museum, where they collect paintings and sculptures from all over the world from all time. Those collections belong to everyone. But some collections, like Hector's, belong to just one person. Every collection is different. Every collection is the same. Every collection is beautiful. Think about your collections. 
Do they remind you of special places? Are you amassing a collection of a universe that includes every being and every place in that universe? Where do you keep your collections? What would happen if you put your collections out somewhere completely different? Let's say you have a collection of postcards. What would they look like if they were hung on your walls? Or maybe what would they look like if they were in a flip book? What if you had a collection of feathers carefully stored in a box? What would they look like if you strung them up and hung them from the ceiling so they floated above your head? What if you had a collection of animal figures that you usually played with inside? What would it be like to play with them on your back porch or outside? We would love to see what you do with your collections and how you think of displaying and using them. Hopefully you can share it with us. We'll see you next time. Take care.